Hey guys, so this is going to be a really basic video. Pretty much we're going to just going to take a quick look at how we could build a graphical user interface application in C Sharp, really basic, and uh, use a couple of the controls and just explain the really basics really quick. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to create the project. In this type we're going to use a Windows Form application. Uh, maybe next time I'll show you how to do it with Windows Presentation Foundation, but for now we're going to go to new project one new project opens up inside of here we're going to click windows form application and then you can go ahead and name whatever you want I'm going to leave it its default name and then you click OK so when you first see the window loaded you're going to get a, a screen similar to this and this is your design screen for your windows form application and you can resize it and manipulate this and this is what your application or your window is going to look like on the left hand side you'll on the left hand side you'll have a toolbox that you can dock um, if you don't have it, you can just go to view and then toolbox and then you can see it there your toolbox is pretty much um, your your list of controls that you can use in a form uh, controls are things that we can interact with as users so these would be things like buttons uh, text boxes um, scroll uh, I don't know uh, list boxes um, let me let me show you the list of common controls these are the common so buttons, checkboxes, checklist box, combo box, date, label, blah, 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 and so on. So these are the basic controls you can use. Now, once you learn the fundamental idea of how you use these, then it's really simple from there on. That's what the only point of this video is. So I'm going to try to keep it as fast as possible. So the first thing to note is when we use controls, we interact with these controls um, with our code using events, right? These controls are most likely gonna not not all the time, but these controls. For instance, we're gonna use the button to start off with. The button when we click that button, that button's gonna throw or fire an event, the click event, and then if we subscribe to that event, which we'll see how it's really basic, uh, we can use some code, and that's that's pretty much how we're gonna use it. So at first, let's just go grab a button and throw it on the form like that. The, so when you have a, a control clicked in a Windows Form application, if you go to your property window on the right hand side, and if you don't have a properties window, you can just go to the view and properties window once again. Um, the properties contain all the characteristics of this control. So in the properties pane, um, we can see basic things like we can see um, the image color. Uh, uh, I mean the for color. Um, we can see the image if you want an image on it. We can see the margin. We can see uh, the text. We can see the size. So these are all the properties or characteristics of it that we can change and manipulate our controls on um, the back color. Um, so for instance, well actually the first thing to note about this is there is two properties in particular that normally confuses beginner programmers. The text property and the name property. Okay, the text property is what is actually displayed on the control and what the user can see. So if I go hello world right there, that's what actually changes on the control. So that's the hello world there. Now, the name property, which I'll leave as button one, is what how we access this control through code. So the name of the of the control is button one. So whenever we want to interact with the button with code in the code behind then we're going to use it we're going to access it by using the button one that will be the object we'll use button one and then we can do button one dot font button one dot back color we can change everything through code we can do button one dot text and you'll see that here in a second the next thing to note is the events like I was talking about if you click the little lightning bolt on the properties uh, window you can see these are all the events that we can subscribe to for this control the most common one by default is obviously clicked because buttons are clicked. But we have other ones that we can use like dragging, uh, mouse entered, um, uh, I don't know, text change. You know, there's a bunch of controls that you can use and manipulate whenever you want a certain action to happen. So you can go over these, look at these when you need to do something, and most of, most of the time you'll find what you're looking for. However, because every control has a default behavior like the most common behavior if we want to access that event without having to go into the events pane we can just double click on our control and that will load 
the most re uh, or the most commonly used event. So if I double click on my hello world button, this will automatically go to my code behind and generate and subscribe to the event. So there we go, we have the event handler now, and now we can just write the code for what would happen if the button was pressed. So in this case, I'm just going to, um, when it's pressed, I'm going to make a call to the uh, message box class. The message box class is, for, is responsible for displaying a message box window. So I'm going to go message box show. I'm going to say hello world. The message box has some overloads that I can hit comma. I can add a caption. So I don't know. This is a pop up window. Uh, I can add. I can. I can choose what buttons I want. So I can go message box buttons, and I can pick what ones. I'll, so I'm just going to use OK only. Um, I can then set the icon. So go message box icon. I'll set it to a uh, let's say a question. I don't know, just so you can see it. And that's about it. that. All we'll show you. So, so this is our code. We have message box show hello world. This is a pop up window. OK button and a question icon. Uh, very basic. You don't even need all the other other things. You can just do message box show hello world. And I'll add another one. So once I hit OK on this one, the other one will show, and this will just be the uh, basic message box. So message box show hello uh, world. So that would be the basic one. So if we run the program, we can see our button and our program is running. If we double, if we click on that button. We'll see our first one that we made with the overload. So this is a pop-up question mark, hello world. Hit OK. And this is the one that would happen if you just put in the text, hello world. So that's the basics of just working with a GUI. Now, another thing we could do, to just show you really quickly before I end this video, because I just want to get you familiar with double-clicking on, on a control for the, the common event and things like that. Uh, I'll make more how-to videos like this soon. Uh, on let's, let's add a label. A label is just a way that we can display text, right? Uh, it's just for displaying text. I'll go ahead and modify this maybe. I'll go ahead and make the font bigger, I'll make it bold, I don't know, I'll change it. It doesn't really matter. So there's my new label. I'm going to make it now when I double click or when I uh, click Hello World, it will change this text to uh, Hello World. So then the first thing to note is I need to click this, I need some information. The name of the label is called label one, so that's how I'll access it through the code. And I want to change the text of it, right? Because right now it's label one. When I hit it, I want to change it to hello world, so I'll be changing the text property. So inside of my button click, I'm just going to go label one dot text. That's the text property of the label. Right now it's set to label one, but I'm going to change it to hello uh, world like that. And I'm going to go ahead and run the program again. And this time when I hit hello world, we'll see it changed the text to hello world. All right, so that's it for this video. This is what I'm planning on doing for more of these type of videos. These are going to be my what I call how to videos. So I want to do how to videos, try to keep them as short as I can, and they're just going to go over like quick little things like this that you can do, so like how to build a GUI application to display a hello world message, or maybe how to make a calculator, how to make a reminder program, how to do things like that. So if you like this and you want to see things, and you can just leave me a comment, and be like, oh, I don't know how to make this. Can you teach me how to, or make a how-to video to uh, make a calendar program that I can leave important dates and stuff like that. Whatever, leave that, and I'll do it. I'll make a simple video. And everything would uh, would be good. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.